guy here at OAC grade school championships, Tim Collins, uh, officiate at the tournament. Uh, I've been sitting here with uh, Regan, the flow team, and uh, it's been really fun. It's been really fun watching you officiate. Um, seems like you enjoy it out there, care about the kids, and um, just making it a good experience. So, well, it's, uh, wrestling is a fun sport. I mean, it's really fun, and most people try to be serious about this, but uh -huh. it's a fun thing to do. Right? When you see uh -huh. a double leg, a ankle pick. It's, I'm excited like they're excited. Even though I'm officiating, I'm still excited for the kids, for the losers and the winners. Yeah. So I just like being here, being, being a positive influence on these people's lives. Because eventually they're going to grow up to be men. I just want to be here and share yeah. the time with them. You know, I love what I'm doing. I love being here. And um, I do it at all different levels. So, I mean, these kids right here is our future. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the part I hate is, is a dad that, you know, want to live through his kid. But I can understand that too because I live through my kid. Yeah. So you just gotta try to be stay positive with them. Give them a, 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 a that a boy when they do bad, that a boy when they do good. I mean, you just gotta be positive at all times. So yeah, that's that's one of the things I've been asking some coaches is like uh, you you have the the parents that are maybe too involved and it's like mm -hmm. winning and losing seems so important. Um, and then you said that you you kind of had that experience as a dad too, or Correct. maybe you you had that. Yeah, I had the same experience. I mean, yeah. I was officiating my, my son's baseball game, and he came around third base, came home, and I was like, I wanted him to be safe, mm -hmm. and I called him safe. <laughs> but I was a home plate umpire, and I, uh -huh. that was the wrong thing to do. But it was like you live through your kids. You want them to do good. You want them to be positive. But sometimes it doesn't happen like that. So you got to take the good with the bad, you know? And, you know, these parents, they, they got time invested in these kids, but sometimes they just don't know when to turn it off. I like the, I like the coach or the parent that if the son loses, he gives them a hug. Yeah. If the son wins, he gives them a hug. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's a win-win situation. And that's when you see the most successful kid is when the, the, the dad, knows how to be even kill with his son despite winning or losing. You see that's the best kid. Gotcha. So oh I had a thought and it was um, okay. Yeah when you're kind of comparing your experience with other coaches, mm -hmm. you know I really really try to focus on what's happening. You know I have a kid. I hope right. he wants to wrestle. Right, you, you hope he wanna wrestle. But do you think so, sometimes I look at the coach and maybe it seems like kind of vicious. But maybe um, it's not his intention. It's just so much emotions into it. It's or? emotion, time. They got that's their that's their kid. Mm -hmm. He loves his kid. He wants them to do good. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, he comes up short. Yeah. So I mean, at, at them times is the times of trials and tribulations. What do you do? How do you respond to him losing? A lot of parents they like to get on their brag on their kid for what? Go get him some ice cream some cookies and have some fun afterwards. You know, that's how I look at it. I say, hey, go, go tell your mom and your dad, get you some ice cream and y'all be laughing about it tomorrow. Yeah. And that's how I feel. You know, all these kids over here that's wrestling, most of them, they just wrestling because somebody told them to wrestle. Some of them are yeah, going to be yeah. state champs. Some of them are going to be third place winners. Some people won't even make it out the district. Uh -huh. Some of them are going to be wrestling in that five years because being burnt out. But as long as I'm here, I'm going to make sure it's fun for them. I'm going to make sure they laugh, make sure they, they sportsmanship at all times. They shake their hands when they lose, like they shake their hand and when they win. Like last week, we had some guys that was losing, and they was like out of the world because they never lost before. Yeah, yeah. They, they've been in that little Cincinnati area, Cleveland area. They've never lost before. Uh -huh. they, they, first time they lost. They don't know how to react because they've never been in that situation. But when I'm here, I try to, hey, it'll be all right. You better get in because you got another match in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to get your hair right. And, and then, all it is is preparing for life. You fell a test, you do bad, you got to come back and pass the next test. That's all. Yeah, it was cool. I saw it just it before uh, kid was walking off, the, about to walk off the mat, didn't look too right. You gave him like a headlock noogie and got a little, got a little smile out they of it. They all kids, know, man. They all kids, tough. man. You got to, you know, that, I feel like I'm babysitting, basically. All these kids, uh -huh. my whole day. I'm going to see them on the mat all, all day. And I just make sure they stay out the streets. That's all. And they pay me for it. So, hey, that's there a win-win win situation. How long you been uh, officiating? This is my 15th year. 15? 15. Yeah, 15 awesome. years. Awesome. And did, did you wrestle? I wrestled up at Warren's My Heights up in Cleveland. Awesome. I wasn't that good, though. That's why I'm officiating. <laughs> well, so what got you into it? Is it just my your son, passion for wrestling? My son started back wrestling. I got him wrestling when he was like six or seven. Uh -huh. And that, it just... 
re relit the fire inside of me. I started officiating, and I've been doing good ever since. So you had, you have fun? I have fun all the time. What do you do for your own personal development and just to become the best official you could be with? I watch a lot of video. I video. watch a lot of, like anything else. Uh -huh. To get better at your craft, you got to watch other people that's better than you. Watch them, watch them, emulate them all you can. I emulate them. I, I see the hang signal. I used to be like this, but now I know it's like this. So it just changes. I remember the days when I, I probably had my hands in my pocket, but then somebody told me that was wrong. So you just try to watch other fishes and emulate what they do, and that's the only way you get better. And read the rule book. So how about, um, you know, especially in a state like Ohio that's, you know, arguably the toughest state. It's definitely the One top of the toughest three. states. Top um, three. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, you can say something but, about that. But you're probably, yeah, you're <laughs> probably seeing the newest techniques and new, new newest funk and things. And, and so how do you stay out in front of that? And sometimes you be like, well, I officiate in West Virginia, Virginia Beach. Uh -huh. um, I go out to Vegas. I go to Lansing. I see the different states how they wrestle. Mm -hmm. I was out to Vegas at the Freak Show last year, and um, I thought the wrestling would be different. They do different things out there that they don't do in Ohio. Uh -huh. a, lot of, a lot of bars. A lot of people run bars. It's the same thing. It's yeah. just how they run it, the technique to get in there. That's all. Same wrestling is wrestling. Control to back points. That's all it is. Nice. Well, um, Really appreciate that you um, you use part of your life in, for for fishing. It gives uh, these wrestlers a good place to compete. Thanks for your effort. You got uh, anything else to share? Hey, have fun this weekend, kids. Have fun. Hey, it's a good time. So Thanks. have fun enjoying it. All Thanks, right, thank you. Thank you.